Washington is making their first trip to the state semifinals in 38 years. Go Jags. Principal William Johnson says he and the entire school are proud of the Jags. But just before the season, Washington needed a coach. Hold up, get on the line. I'll do it in front of the camera. I don't care. Get on the line. He found Nick Purnell. Where can you get a, a gentleman that, um, that won a state title as a player and as a coach? I mean, in late November, you're not going to get that opportunity. Our goal is to win it now. And we're, we're two games from it, hopefully. So I don't change up no strategy. Uh, I just keep it all where it is. These guys are super excited, and you know what? They finally made it across the bay. These guys are hungry. We're hungry. These guys are ready. We're ready. And all they want, all we want is respect. Respect. But being as though we got a new coach and a new whole new um, system, and two MVPs that graduated, people thought we wouldn't be here right now, but we're here. You feel like people here on the Eastern Shore respect Washington basketball? Not as much as they should. And I think we, we're going to get a lot more respect when we win the state championship. Why not them? Why not now? A team from the shore has beaten Dunbar before. Go back to the 2008 1A state semis when Snow Hill beat the Poets, advancing to the title game. Coach Purnell was an assistant on the team. He feels somebody can do it again. Our greatest preparation will be Dunbar's underestimation. They've been beaten twice from two teams on the shore. Pokemon has beaten them one time. Snow Hill has beaten them one time. So why not make it three times a charm? Respect on three. One, two, three. Respect. Reporting in Somerset County, Ryan Marshall, WBLC Sports, Princess Anne.